If you look up at Kenya's most famous TikTokers, you won't be surprised to see the likes of Aziad, Moya David, and Dennis Ombachi. But one name does seem to stand out. Anyaku is a beast, bro. She's a great content creator. Walk with me as I take you through the journey of a young African orphan who was able to beat all the odds to become one of Kenya's biggest TikTok sensations to the point of where she met. I am here, a lady who has come from Germany who tells me that she is a, a TikTok champion. Rosalie Notieno, who is famously known as Nyako, was born on the 23rd of June, 1985, in a family of eight children. Two of her siblings died of HIV. I lost two sisters that were born with it. Life had started off very well, and they were living as a very happy family. But this immediately came to a stop when suddenly her parents died of HIV. Both of my parents died with HIV and AIDS. Life immediately took a wrong turn. Everything now was down on her and life became so unbearable. She resulted into doing some jobs so that she could keep herself and her siblings well fed. Mm. And then I, I, I was bitter with my parents oh, also, oh, oh, oh. because I felt like they left me out all my life. For those who don't know, a shower business means prostitution. I used to be a prostitute. I was cheap, cheaper show. Uh, one fifty bob. Mm -mm. Those days it was one thousand. Even with the bad reputation that comes from prostitution, Nyako was still that visionary girl who had future plans for herself. Over the years, she saved up all this money that she got from prostitution and took herself to a German school. I took myself to school, wow. German school. Nice. Then I went to an agency here in Nairobi and applied for au pair. That's how I left Kenya. Nyako went to Germany where she started working as a house help for a rich family. We ended up in families, oh. taking care of kids. Oh, you are not going there as a shower? No, oh, 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 now as I get a it. housemaid sort of. But this was short-lived because after some time, she quit the job because the boss was trying to sleep with her. Baba, I left. In 1989, Initially, Nyako was not even on TikTok. She was at first on Facebook where she was on a group called Globe Connecting People Group. From here, she was seen doing some lives and people were very excited for how she was and they fell in love with who she was. So they encouraged her to start a TikTok channel and that's how she landed on TikTok. Nyako first made waves on TikTok after Andrew Kibe talked about her. I find Nyako to be thoroughly intelligent. Andrew Kibe was widely known at that time and he was making waves at the Kenyan industry. So fans started describing Nyako as the opposite version or the female version of Andrew Kibe. So this made Andrew Kibe talk about her and the back and forth led to Nyako getting famous and now followers started noticing Nyako. Nyako later was seen picking up fights with someone like Lulu Hassan, who is a presenter at Citizen TV. And some other big creators such as Aziad. Aziad is uh, a young lady who thinks that she has made it. And Nyako is really famous for such controversies. Say things the way I see them, and I don't attack. You come for me underboard, I come for you overboard. Her attitude and these controversies have really helped her in, in terms of increasing her popularity among the people. And as you know, Kenyans, they are really in for the tea and they love controversies. Controversies as you know them, even though they might be very good for people who are just viewers, they really affected Nyako's personal life. I was working with a very, very delicate department, American military. I was working with young kids where I am a bus driver and uh, I was targeted with jealous people on TikTok. They collected all my videos that are not so good for kids. 
and they sent it to that department and I just lost my job and I had a court case which I won against my employer. When I lost my job, the doors opened. Despite all this success, Nyako has not really forgot about people and helping and giving out a hand where she can. The charitable uh, life I've learned in Germany, I'm going to bring it back to my country. She showed this by helping out Kimani Mbogwa, who at that time had a bipolar problem, helping him contribute 420,000 Kenya shillings. And she has also gone ahead and started a Nyako Foundation, whose aim is to help the people who don't have the finances and to help the less fortunate. But she has a problem. I'm suffering heart problem. So after the corona vaccination, I developed this condition. I have goita. I have growth in my uterus. It seems that Nyako has been struggling with her health for the longest time. And she actually feels like her days are numbered. Naiza kufa anytime and I want to leave legacy. I want to leave something good to the world. Other than this, there was a recent case of which her nudes were leaked to the public. I am ashamed of myself. I could not even sleep. I am broken. Love or hate Nyako, Nyako is a living testimony that you can come from the ground and make your way up the ladder to wherever that you want to be in life. So as part of this month, which is a Women's Day month or Women's Celebrations month, we want to celebrate Nyako for being someone who entertains us and also someone who has also helped other people achieve their dreams and achieve their goals. We want to stand with her at these trying times even though she feels like her, her, her life is coming to an end. We want to tell her to carry on being strong because we believe we'll be well. That was Nyako's story. I hope that you have loved the presentation and everything. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you can stay updated of the things that I'm going to upload or the videos that I'm going to upload in the future. Yes, thank you.